Hey tarot friends, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and I thought today we could hang out and talk about the Denver Gem and Mineral Show. It has been a week of crystal goodness that I can't even begin to explain how amazing it was. The Gem Show in Denver is the second largest gem and mineral crystal show in the United States only surpassed by one that I believe is in Arizona or New Mexico. I can't remember which, um, but it's the one that I enjoy going to and it lasts for over a week. So it's a week and a day. Technically it opens on a Friday and then it closes the Sunday of the following week. And I went on opening day, which was Friday of last week, sorry, of the week prior. And then I also went on Monday, and then I went on Sunday, which was the closing uh, day, which was, what, day before yesterday. Um, and it was super duper amazing. Um, I had the time of my life. It's, it's basically five gem and mineral shows all combined into one. And I'll put somewhere on the screen here a little map that shows you exactly how big and how crazy this show is because it takes place in two full-size arenas um, as well as a huge convention center that is literally just packed full of uh, people selling crystals different mines wholesalers retailers um, the whole nine yards every and from all around the world there are people from China and India um, and South Africa and um, <laughs> the Bahamas and Brazil and I mean just everywhere you could possibly imagine they were there um, and it was just amazing so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm keeping for my own personal collection I did purchase quite a few crystals um, and this is kind of a, a little bit of a, a soft announcement I guess you could say is I've decided to take over a space in a local um, artist co-op and antique store and kind of turn it into a little metaphysical store um, that includes you know some of the 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 body sprays and essential oil uh, mists and things that I've I've shown off on my Instagram as well as the channel um, tarot boxes all of the kind of fun metaphysical things that I've been uh, crafting as well as um, you know crystals and incense handmade incense um, and things like that so I'm really excited about that so <laughs> the last day that I went up actually everything that I bought that day was specifically for that space um, to resell. But I did get some stuff the first couple days that I was there, specifically for me. And we can start with the first thing, which is what I'm wearing right now, uh, which is this Labradorite Mala, which I love. <laughs> um, it's so cool. It has some really nice um, shimmery beads in it, um, and it is all Labradorite beads, which is one of my very favorite stones, and I'm loving it. So I've been seen wearing this about quite often lately. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Let's start with selenite. So there's a huge um, vendor there from India who was selling nothing but selenite stuff, which was really cool because they basically had everything you could ever want in selenite bowls. And um, they even had knives made out of selenite and all kinds of craziness. So it was really cool. So I got um, for myself one of these selenite candle holders. As you can see, it's got a little empty tea light in it because I. I already burned a candle in it because it's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's just a little tower selenite candle holder. I also got um, a selenite pyramid, which I love. So it's just a little pyramid do. -doo. I got a polished selenite point, which I haven't seen these very often around, um, but it's it's amazing. It's Instead of it being, you know, rough, like you see a lot of the selenite towers, this one's polished and it's really nice and it's smooth, um, but it's completely selenite and it's a, it's a big, it's a big dude, as you can see next to my hand. It's a nice big piece, which I absolutely love. And then I also picked up a carved selenite wand, just because I've always wanted one of these. Um, and yeah, it's really beautiful. It's got this nice spiral carving on it. 
So I got that. And the last selenite piece that I got is this sphere, which is absolutely amazing. I love this sphere. It has some like really nice translucency. You can see it there. Um, and it has like this really nice sheen. I love it. It's really beautiful. So those are all the selenite pieces that I got. Um, what else? I also got some little pyramids. So I got a lapis pyramid, which is really cool. So there's that little guy. And I got a, this is a red tiger's eye pyramid. So if I can get it to, to focus, there we go. So you can see it's got that nice red sheen to it, but it still has that tiger's eye kind of marbling. And I got a uh, fire and ice pyramid. So, and this isn't the only fire and ice piece that I got. Now, the reason why these crackled quartz pieces are called fire and ice, I learned from one of the uh, exhibitors there, is that when the crystal forms, when the quartz crystal forms, it forms, of course, under immense pressure and heat, right? That's how these things form. Um, but what happens with the fire and ice crystals is that it, it forms under the immense pressure and heat, but is then immediately cooled, right? So these are found often around uh, volcanoes and things like that. And so it cools really rapidly. And because it's cooling really rapidly, the interior of the crystal, because it's still really warm and almost like putty, um, it forms all of these cracks and that crystally uh like crackled effect so that's why they're called fire and ice if anyone was ever wondering that's what i learned that was my takeaway um so the other crackle piece that i got is this really awesome smoky crackled uh quartz smoky quartz pillar which i just love so that um i got this really cool uh, crystal card holder which I love which is really cool it's a quartz crystal card card holder so you can uh, you can take a card or business cards or whatever you want and it will it will hold it so I thought that was really cool so I grabbed one of those let's see what else what else what else <laughs> um, I got this phantom quartz, so this has agate phantoms in it, so it has little bits of, of agate inside of it, which is really pretty. And I got a piece of uh, ghost or phantom uh, amethyst, which I love. So yeah, that. I got this really awesome little piece of smoky quartz that's been carved into um, a hexagram, which I really thought was cool. I haven't really seen these much around. So it's just a little palm stone that's carved into a hexagram on both sides. It's really pretty. And then I also got a little piece of um, rainbow fluorite. I almost forgot what it's called for a minute, um, which I love. It's just a little fluorite pillar. And I got myself a labradorite uh, pillar because one can never have too much Labradorite, right? Am I right? So I got this guy and he's got some really nice flashy bits that you can see through it. There's like, it's hard to grab. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. It's so pretty. So I got that guy. This next thing is really cool. I was really excited when I saw these because you don't see these all too often, and that is this um, 12 pointed Labradorite 
star. So it's made out of 12 points and it's super duper pretty. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. So they have these in Labradorite, Quartz, um, Tiger's Eye, and one other stone I can't remember off the top of my head. So I got a few of these um, as well to resell, but I've never seen them like this. And I was like, oh, I have to have one of those. So Labradorite. Let's see. I got this cute little Quartz guy on a stand, which I love. So he's just like a cute little corpse point and then they've mounted it on the stand. And then I also got this chunky, this big chunky monkey piece of uh, smoky quartz on a stand. So that's already mounted, um, which I just really love just for displaying. And smoky quartz being an empath is one of my, one of my favorite stones. For sure. I just love this stone. So I got that. Um, and let's see. The last thing I'm going to show, well, not the last thing, is this. This is a gold onyx sphere. So you can see these striations through it. So this is onyx that uh, was formed as it passed through a gold vein, so it picks up these gold flecks in it, um, which I just thought was amazing. So you can kind of see the the shimmer in in some parts of it, and in other parts it's very very black. Um, and I'm keeping it on this cool. And if this isn't something you guys do, you should check this out. This is my favorite trick. Instead of getting those ugly stands that usually spheres come with candle holders make really wonderful sphere stands so this lives on my altar over there now which I absolutely love you can see the flick the flecks of gold through it so that was my my favorite piece that I got then also while I was there, there was a big booth selling all kinds of smudging stuff. So I got myself a piece of blue sage smudge stick and a nice huge big long braid of sweet grass, which smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. And yeah, those are all the treasures that I got for me to keep. Um, and I did get a ton of other stuff, which um, I might do a follow-up video on, or I'll just do um, some Instagram posts and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. Um, and as always, you can find all the links to all of my social media in the down box below, as well as a link to my website where you can book a personal reading with me, um, which is the best way to support the channel because I take all the money from that and I put it back into this YouTube channel. Um, and yeah. It was such an amazing experience. If you have the opportunity to go to it sometime, you should definitely check it out. I took a lot of fo uh, footage, well not a lot, because I was pretty <laughs> overwhelmed with everything there, but I did take some footage uh, to show and share with you guys, as well as some photos. So I've put together a little montage that we'll cut to here uh, at the end so you can enjoy and check out the show for yourself. Um, it was absolutely amazing. There were so many cool people there, so many knowledgeable, pe knowledgeable people, and just so many amazing and crystals. I mean, they were crystals as big as me, and I'm six foot three. Like I'm a big, big guy, and uh, yeah, th it was it was crazy the size and scale of some of these pieces that were there. Um, so yeah, the Denver Gem and Mineral Show was <laughs> amazing. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support and for bearing with me this past week when I wasn't able to produce a lot of content for you guys because I was too busy running up to Denver to, to play in the giant crystal sandbox. <laughs> um, it was amazing. I hope you enjoyed checking out some of the stuff that I got. If you have any, any questions about the crystals that I got, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I would love to hear what all of your favorite crystals are, so make sure you post that below as well. And yeah. As always, remember guys, everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about, so be kind. Always. Bye everybody. <laughs>